Hi guys, this is David Fine. Welcome to Keys Mods. This series, guys, is, is a series that's dedicated to going over all of the incredible fauna of moths that live in the Florida Keys. We've identified almost 600 species of moths just on the islands in Monroe County in the Florida Keys. That's phenomenal. In fact, we still find new stuff a lot of times when we go down, we still are finding new species. So, uh, but guys, let's start going over some of these incredible moths that we have today. We are going to be going in part one of Sphingidae of the Florida Keys. Guys, we have some incredible Sphinx moths right here, and I'm gonna show you some of these incredible Sphinx moths. This is the Eumorpha group. We've got three species of Eumorpha Sphinx moths down the Keys. Uh, they are super, super impressive and let's check them out. All right, guys, this is a box full of moths from the Florida Keys, and I wanna show you a few of the Eumorpha species. In fact, these are five Eumorpha species that all live in Florida. Uh, the, starting with the top one, this is Eumorpha Pandora, and then this guy here is Eumorpha Ackerman. Eumorpha Pandora, beautiful moth and Eumorpha Ackerman. Guys, these are found pretty much throughout the state, but as beautiful as they are, and even though they feed on grapevines, which live in the Florida Keys, we do not find these species in the Keys. So we wanna show you the three that do live in the Florida Keys. We have the gaudy sphinx, Eumorpha labresca. We've got the line, or I'm sorry, the vine sphinx, Eumorpha vitis and the banded sphinx, Eumorpha fasciata. So guys, we'll start with the more common. Eumorpha fasciata is a incredibly common moth on the Florida mainland. Uh, it feeds on primrose willow, and it's a, anywhere there's freshwater lakes or canals, primrose is a plant that grows commonly, and they can actually be very, very common. You can easily find their caterpillars if you look for their caterpillars. And so, incredibly stunning moth with these beautiful pink coloration stuff like that we've only found a couple of these guys in the keys all only on key largo and we do not believe that they breed in the florida keys we think that they may be kind of uh straying in from the mainland because it's not too far of a, of a flight from where their host plant is but where we're lighting in key largo we don't know of their host plant to occur anywhere around there. Eumorpha fasciatus, guys, is the only species of Eumorpha that does not feed on grapevine. It actually feeds on a completely different type of plant. So that differentiates it from the rest of the five Eumorpha species that live in Florida and makes it a stray to the Florida Keys because its host plant, to my knowledge, does not live in the Florida Keys. So let's move to Eumorpha vitis. Now, this is perhaps one of the most rare moths in the Florida Keys. I've only found two specimens of Eumorpha vitis in the Keys. And this is a super rare moth. It feeds on grapes. It feeds on cissus, uh, paranthocissus, lidwigia, um, and some magnolia species. And it, but it actually has a wide range. It, it ranges it, from Florida to Texas, down to the Caribbean, and through Central and South America. But in Florida, guys, it's very, very rare. We've only found two in the Florida Keys in the 15 years that we've been doing our project, both in you know light, little light bucket traps and both on Key Largo, both in the month of May. And the last time we've seen this one, I believe was... 2003 or 2004. I think it's 2004 was the last time we saw this guy. So Eumorpha vitis, super rare moth. Uh, if you find one, it's kind of tough to tell them apart with Eumorpha fasciatus, but fasciatus has got this much more prolonged pink band here on the hind wing. Uh, Eumorpha vitis, it's just, it's just a striking creature. What a stunning creature this thing is. I love Eumorpha uh, species. Now, finally, guys, 
the gaudy sphinx probably my top three favorite lepidopteran uh and top three lepidopteran in florida for sure the gaudy sphinx has a very very wide range it actually lives throughout florida texas it's actually found in several as a stray i believe in several of the southern states but also ranges all the way through the caribbean and central and south america yeah, this one feeds on a variety of different grapevines and vitis species. Uh, they love possum grape, which is the one I've found them on several times, and the caterpillars, that is. And in the Keys, guys, we've found three or four, I think four specimens of this in the last 15 years, so not very commonly found, all of which, except one, were found on gas station lights, just kind of in the city, and we found them on Key Largo, and Jim Trowbridge found one on Bahia Honda Key in a light trap. And so, and here's the thing, guys, only in the winter months, we find these in November and December in the Keys, and we don't see them the rest of the year. So, does that mean they're straying in and flying in to the Keys? I don't know, but there is definitely no uh, moth that you will confuse with the gaudy sphinx. It's got these incredible green wings and thorax, incredible blue and yellow hind wing with a little red dot. And I'll even show you the underside of this guy because if there was a such thing as a key lime pie moth, it would be the gaudy sphinx. And so uh, that's a super cool bug. And guys, the Eumorpha group, they're very fast flyers, very strong flyers, and they fly uh, at twilight, they can be found visiting flowers at twilight. And, uh, but most of the time when you see them, they come to your mercury vapor lights. I typically find most of my Eumorpha species coming into the mercury vapor lights very late at night, probably actually early AM, two, three o'clock in the morning is when I see most of my Eumorpha specimens come and hit the light sheet. So uh, guys, all it's a great group. Uh, <laughs> Pandora, more in the north. Ackerman, more in the north. But here's our three Keys Sphinx Mods. I hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. If you find any one of these, it's definitely worth reporting pretty much anywhere you go. So, guys, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we've got plenty more beauties to show you, like this faithful beauty in the auto mod. Uh, Poei, you wouldn't believe it, but this is actually a pretty rare mod. So guys, we've got a lot to show you, 600 species to show you. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida, and let's go find some rare mods.